the video that is posted on Facebook comparing how to multiply two digit numbers the old way versus the new way using an area model is very misleading. First and foremost, the guy that was multiplying using the way that we learned, because I'm in my 30s, the way that we learned when we were in elementary knew what he was doing. So the process went by way faster. The lady that was showing you how to multiply using an area model took her time. She was moving very, very, I can't explain how slow she was moving to the point where I didn't finish watching the whole video because she was really moving that slow. That process does not take that long if you know how to do the process. So what I'm gonna do is, I am going to actually do both of those processes sitting right next to each other. Do I think that one should be done over the other? No, I actually think that kids should know how to do both of them. Both of them are beneficial for different things. I don't think you should teach a child only one way to do math. Children should be able to choose, okay? Anywho, outside of that, I'm gonna do both of them together so that you can see that the area model process is longer, but it's not like 10, 15 minutes longer to where you can go do a whole nother something situation and then you still be, no, it's not that situation, okay? I'm getting ready to show you. I feel like I was just on another planet Eighteen second difference, huh? We're messing up math, right? It took me eighteen seconds longer to do a way that explains everything that's happening in the process than it does a way that's just saying, "Hey, this is how you do it, so do it." The first way doesn't explain, for example, why am I bringing the zero down at the bottom? Why am I taking this number and putting it at the top of the next number? It doesn't explain that. It wasn't explained to me. If it was, I don't remember it. All I know is that they said, "Hey, this is how it's supposed to get done, so do it." When you're using the area model, the area model explains, for example, I am multiplying here, I'm multiplying three times 20. Here I am multiplying 10 times 20, not one times 20. This is actually 10 times 20, hence the reason why I had to add that zero at the bottom. Does that make sense? So everything that we're doing, we're shifting towards a why. We're not shifting, we're, we're moving away from, hey, this is what you do, do it like this, step by step by step by step. We're moving away from steps. We're explaining to these kids why the math is the way it is, which creating in their mind number sense. They need to know how numbers work. If you want to know what's really going on with math, that's what we're doing. We're teaching the kids why the numbers are the way that they are. You don't want to teach a kid only one way to do something. What if their mind doesn't see it like that? Not everybody knows how to do that, believe it or not. I teach, trust me, I've seen children that cannot multiply like the first way, but you give it to them the second way and it makes sense. So that's my little spiel. Uh, moral of the story. Stop listening and believing everything you see on the internet. Highly fabricated. It was not that serious.